Again, the instructions for this would be to solve the system by elimination. Um, it, but this this turns out to be a special case, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, okay. So what can I do? Well, again, I'm looking. Ooh, look at this. I can either multiply this one by two, and I get that, or I can multiply this one by two, and I get that. Except for I do need, well, actually, so let's see what happens. Look at that. That's the special case. If I multiply by positive two, I won't get an opposite sign. This and this are the same sign. This and this are the same sign. So what I need to do is multiply by negative two, and I'll distribute that. So the next thing I'll do is I'll move this down, and then I'll rewrite the second equation. That would be negative six x, right? Uh, plus 14y. If you're not good at multiplying, this becomes really difficult. And then negative 2 times 14 is negative 28. So here we go. Um, what does this mean? What does this mean? Well, I can add these together now. And that goes away. But also that goes away. So what do I have on the left side? You don't have anything. Right, it's just 0 equals... 2. Wait. That's not true. This is false. Thus, our answer is no solution. No solution. Wait a minute, why do we say that? What what the heck? Well, if I graph these, let's let's look at our original equations again. 3x minus 7y equals 14. Maybe not graph them, but I'll 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 look at their slopes. Um and then 6 x minus 14 y equals 30 let me change them into um, so this is the answer is no solution we're done with the problem already but I want to show you why <laughs> I really do so let's see what happens if I change this into y equals mx plus b form y equals mx that's called a slope intercept form plus b okay so what can I do first I can subtract the 3x over to the other side so I'll do that. So what do I have? I have negative 7y um, equals, and I'll put the x term first because the x term first comes here, or comes first there. Negative uh, 3x plus 14. And then I want to get the y all by itself, so I'll divide by negative 7 for every term. So then what do I get? I get y equals positive 3 sevenths x um, minus 2. So that's that's the slope-intercept form for that first. They're the same line, just in a different form. And then I'm going to do the same steps for the second equation. Remember, this is not part of the answer. This is me showing you why there is no solution. So uh, I will subtract 6x. Uh, these are not like terms, so I can't combine them, so I just get negative negative y no negative 14y equals negative 6x plus 3 divide everything by negative 14 even though I get a fraction negative 14 negative 14 goes that way y equals that's a positive oh I can reduce I can reduce by dividing by 2 I'm gonna reduce I'm reducing so then, what do I have? I have a negative divided by negative is a positive. 3, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Uh, the x uh, divided by, ooh, ooh, that would be 7. <gasps> what? I'm dividing here. So whatever that is, that's minus, I can't reduce that. 3 over 14. That's weird. That's the y-intercept. But look at this. They have the same slope. The lines are parallel. <gasps> So, of course, they don't have a solution. They never intersect. Lines are parallel. That's the symbol for parallel. So that's why there is no solution. Same as the other uh, special case. In the next one, we're going we're gonna to get something like 2 equals 2. In, in this case, there would be infinitely many solutions. This doesn't happen here, but it will happen infinitely. Lee? Lee? Jet Lee. Infinitely many 
souls. If this happens, if a true statement happens, true. If a false statement happens, there's no solution. If a true statement happens, there's infinitely many solutions. What does that mean, though? Interesting.